day, when will you realize that pride brings low? When will you realize that haughtiness brings low? You know, there are people that will continue that same haughtiness, and they'll say, if we keep on in that pride and haughtiness, eventually God will have no choice. God will just say, these people, well, they, are, they are what they are. All right, go and be doing what you're doing, not God. Until thou know that the God of heaven does reign, and that the God of heaven will not yield his knowledge. His word, His truth on anyone. At the same time, my reason returned unto me. For the glory of my kingdom and my honor and my brightness returned unto me. And my counselors and my Lord sought unto me. And I was established in my kingdom and excellent majesty was added unto me. Praise the Lord. Isn't God a God of mercy? Those who repent will find God a God of mercy. And God is still showing that mercy today as people turn away from sin, the sin of pride, and the sin of arrogance, and the sin of haughtiness. As people turn away from their evil, the Lord is still showing mercy. And then he said in verse 37, Now I, Nebuchadnezzar, praise and extol and honor the King of heaven, all whose words are what? Truth. And all his ways are what? Judgment. And those that walk in pride. Tell me the rest. Is able to abase. And those who walk in humility is able to exalt. Is able to restore. Is able to reinstate. Is able to bring them back unto his grace. And God will bring us back in Jesus' name. Let's rise up and talk to the Lord in prayer. See what the Lord has done. Yes, there's judgment. There's also mercy. Yes, there's rebuke. There is also the love of God and reinstatement and the restoration when we understand that God is God and God wants to rule and reign in the affairs of men. Let's praise the name of the Lord for what He has taught us all to have learned today. Pray that the Lord. Also help 